My name is Stephen Carlton. Um, I uh, work uh, with Bill Prankert and the Bill Prankert Evangelistic Association. Uh, I live in Ottawa, Canada. My wife and I, we were in a bit of a, a faith season. The Lord was stretching us and, and uh, uh, going through quite a number of different transitions. Um, we were helping Bill travel from one place to another, just driving around and, and that. On this trip, there was an 11-year-old boy in a community in Nunavut, Canada called Cape Dorset. Uh, 11-year-old boy had uh, committed suicide. And um, I mean, my, myself being uh, half Inuit, half Scottish, uh, I've always been very aware of the suicide rates and, and, um, and you know, just how uh, prevalent it's been in many different communities. Uh, but this one in particular uh, struck a chord in Bill. And um, when we got word of this, this 11-year-old boy, Bill said, um, either we, we stop preaching that God is big and with, all, with God all things are possible, uh, or we do something about it. Uh, at that moment, he suggested that my wife and I come on uh, full-time uh, with the ministry and, and come up with a solution on how to battle uh, suicide. And so, uh, so we, in each of the communities that we work in, we, we hold youth conferences and uh, we'll be, you know, in many cases get hundreds of young people out and many of them rededicate their lives to the Lord. And, and in the best case scenarios, uh, teenagers encounter Holy Spirit and, uh, and, and really, you know, are quite touched there. The, uh, the stats on, on Inuit youth abuse, uh, particularly sexual abuse, is uh, something like 70% of the population right now, which uh, is, is more than rampant. You know, Bill often says that, you know, if he were to, to travel the way I do and, and to speak at high schools and, and, you know, tell them that there's hope in Jesus, they, they really wouldn't understand. For one, um, he's a little older. Uh, two, you know, he doesn't have the same cultural connection. Uh, but really, you know, Bill's never gone through what these, these teenagers have gone through. Um, I have. You know, I, I remember what it was like uh, being filled with anger and being filled with this, this almost burning desire to, to harm the man who'd, who'd abused me. And, uh, you know, I was 16 when, uh, when I was abused and um, my life was in hot pursuit of God. You know, I, I was in grade 10, going to grade 11, it rocked me school, uh, my grades dropped and, and uh, my, my relationship with the Lord changed. I was, you know, just, uh, I wasn't there really. So, um, yeah, got into drinking and, and partying and, and was really trying to cope with what happened. And, and, uh, and I turned to the Lord one day. Uh, I was afraid of becoming an alcoholic because of my dependency on, uh, on alcohol to fill or just to numb the pain, really. Said to the Lord one day, the Holy Spirit, if you fill me with your love again, if you heal all of the, the, the pain I'm feeling, um, I'll forgive this man. There wound up being a Christian counselor at Bill Prankert's church in Ottawa at the time, and that was 2009. Um, honestly, you know, I can say that just a few months of, of spending time uh, with this counselor, some very good relationships, uh, friendships I had at the time, and still do today, uh, and a lot of time with Holy Spirit. Um, a few months after that, I, I felt the freedom to forgive this man and to release him to the Lord. And uh, I, I can remember the time when I prayed for this man. And I said, Jesus, I pray he know you the same way I do. Because, um, you know, I, I can't imagine the type of uh, torment someone like that is going through. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was life changing. And, and what it means right now, I mean, because that, that was amazing, the Lord healing me. Boy, you know, what we're doing now is just, it's unbelievable to, to be able to say that to 70% of the population in Nunavut of, of Inuit teenagers, which uh, unfortunately is tens of thousands of teenagers, 70% of them, I can turn to them and say, I've gone through almost identically what you've gone through. But there's redemption and there's healing in the Lord uh, when you allow him to move on on, on that particular area. Um, I can say that without any doubt in my mind that God can heal sexual abuse or, or traumatic events for that matter. And uh, we're, we're seeing it happen now. And, and, you know, KCM partners need to understand that there is an entire generation of, of Inuit or, or Eskimos, as some might know us, um, an entire generation of, of Eskimos in Canada's Arctic right now that are hearing that there is hope in the midst of, of some real torment. And, um, and KCM partners are enabling us, empowering us to do that. 
uh, because of our strong partnership.